A simple random sample of size n equals 36 is obtained from a population with a mean of 84 and a standard deviation of 6. Describe the sampling distribution of x bar. And then it wants us to find um, when is the sample mean bigger than 85.65, when is it less than or equal to 81.7, and then when is it in between 83.25 and 85.75. So part one, choose the correct description of the shape of the sampling distribution of x bar. So we, we see here that n is greater than 30. Remember 30 is sort of our magic number. And so that means it's going to be approximately normal. OK, now find the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So recall that the mean is just the mean. So the mean of the sample of x bar is just going to be 84. And the standard deviation of x bar, recall, is 6 divided by the square root of n. So in this case, it's going to be 6 divided by the square root of 36. And that comes out nice. You're just going to get 1. Okay, now let's find each of these, and I might, well, I guess I'll do all of them. So find the probability that x bar is greater than 85.65. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is draw this out, as you see here. We have the mean at 84, and right below that I usually put in parentheses, standard deviation is 1. And then I go ahead and put my 85.65, and I shade to the right. Okay, I'll show you how to do this on the TI and on StatCrunch. So pull up the TI. Okay, so on the calculator, we're going to go over here to second distribution, go to normal CDF number two, and we'll put in 85.65, and then 1E99, 84 for the mean, and 1 for standard deviation and paste. Press enter, and we get 0 0.0495. And on StatCrunch, I've gone ahead and pulled this up. If you've forgotten, we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, and go down to Normal. And then just put everything in, the mean of 84, standard deviation of 1, and choose greater than or greater than or equal to. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter when we have these continuous distributions. If it's equal to the particular point, there's no value at that particular point. And we get the same thing, 0 Okay, for part C, find that, that the mean is less than 81.7. So I recommend pausing the video here, trying this one out, making sure you can do it. Second distribution, number two. This time our lower is negative infinity. So negative 1E99. The upper bound, we're going to stop at 81.7. The same mean standard deviation. And we should also draw this out, too, as you see here. We get 0 0.0107. Let's check this on StatCrunch. We're saying less than 81.7. We get the same thing, 0 0.0107. Okay, and part D, we're going to find where the sample mean is in between 83.25 and 85.75. Again, draw these out. Doesn't take long at all to do. And on the calculator, I'm going to pull this up. Second distribution, number two. Our lower bound now is 83.25. Upper bound, 85.75. And we keep the same mean and standard deviation. Press enter, and we get about 0.7288. This time we're going to select the between button, and now we just put in our values, our left bound, and the right bound. Looks like I caught myself in a small error here. It should be 85.75, so just go back. We can press second, enter, scroll back here, and second, insert, and I'll put a 5 in. 0.7333. Okay, so I hope that helps.